All right, we made it through hump day. All lives on the weekend. We've had a beautiful week. Yeah. Maybe some bumps in the road, huh? And for the weekend, too. Yeah. If you have plans Saturday, Sunday, I'd factor rain in up front, but okay. some opportunities next couple days for sunshine. Okay, enjoy Friday. Yeah, it's one of those days. This morning, I started out with a sweatshirt on. Yeah. For the first dog, dog walk, my dog gets three. He's very needy. <gasps> It's one at eight, one at nine thirty, and then again at noon. Can you come walk mine? Yeah, no, I had to wear something <laughs> different for each one. It was a sweatshirt first, then down to a long sleeve and a t-shirt. It's just a time of year where we get a little something uh, for everybody at certain parts, uh, certain parts of the day. So far, clear skies at Arundel Mills. Temperatures dropping. Readings already in the fifties for some. Again, it depends on where you are. We have some readings in the sixties and seventies. So this pattern will hold overnight. Lots of star shine here tonight as we head into the morning hours. Here's what to expect as you start your Thursday. We'll start in the early morning hours where we have clear skies and sunshine up front. Grab the sunglasses. Not much in the way of cloud cover early, but we'll work in some clouds by the afternoon. This still stays mainly dry. Our pattern not breaking down just yet, but you'll notice more clouds later on Thursday and into Friday, which is a precursor to our next weather maker set to arrive late Friday night and into Saturday. There's the cloud cover working its way in Friday afternoon still dry. I think most of this rain holds off until we get to the late hours after midnight showers start to work their way in. So bigger picture still looking at Friday evening here. Easy to see where our next system's coming from. But this is a unique direction. Not unheard of. We get coastal low pressure systems, but most of our weather makers come from the west. So as this gets a little more organized and lifts north, I expect showers to fill in throughout the day on Saturday. This low pressure system can be tricky. It slides a little bit farther east. We end up a touch drier, a little more west. We're talking showers and windy conditions. Both weekend days look a little wet, and I think Saturday the worst of the two. So if you have plans, just factor in that rain. 70 degrees there, mid 70s Sunday into Monday, and then holding right around there Tuesday into Wednesday. We'll get a chance to dry out early in the week, bringing rain again on Wednesday.